Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing with me, Austin John Plays. We have to have a talk. We really do. My island has become a little stagnant, which like, I'm not really trying to actively move things around because honestly, I'm feeling pretty meh about something. And it took me a minute of like, actually identifying it. Morning, Butterpup. Right now on Plays, it's 10.07 a.m. There's no news to speak of today. Oh, I did have my meteor shower last night. That was pretty cool. Oh, and I got my Butterpup merch in, which I got version one, which is the Isabelle. Version two is Isabelle with the glasses and version three, which is just the words. And version three, just the words, turned out so much nicer. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with that whole that whole exchange there. And I think I've identified what I'm not happy about. Well, first of all, this area that I built has tanked my frame rate so hard. Anytime walking through there, it really, really struggles. And I also hear the fans whirl up pretty hard, which is hysterical. But this area, I just flat out don't like it. I really don't. Like, yes, having these inside of here is cool and all, but like, I have no room to build a, like, I can't even see my micro environment. I can't even see myself back here. Like, the idea of them being in a circle is cool and all, but like, I don't know, maybe I made them too close. Maybe they shouldn't be in a circle like this. Really, when it comes down to villager houses, you have two options. One, everyone is spread out. You have to, you know, struggle to find the DIY. Or two, which is, it's in a grid, and it's not beautiful. Still, red has not shown up from my island. So because of that, I'm constantly thinking of a new way to lay things out. Oh, Daisy Maze here. Uh, we don't really need turnips yet. And this area, as cool as it is, like this whole overgrown feel, it didn't really turn out the way I'd planned. Oh, I need to go around and collect my star pieces, that's for sure. I think we're gonna have to move some things around. What I'm thinking of doing is maybe really optimizing at the point in the game that I'm at. Because the point in the game that I'm at is people are coming over and they're, you know, checking out my stores and looking for the DIY villager, and that's pretty much it. I'm in the end game here, Tony Stark. Now this, this is gonna sound horrible, but I wanna sort of urbanize everything. Like before I made things into a town, but now I kinda wanna make things into a city. Really having my pathways like structured, and then small breaks from the city. Like, I don't know, maybe even doing a giant central park in the middle. And that Central Park could have my, you know, little Zen garden area. It could have the Celestial Garden. Actually, I'm probably not going to move it because it's just so majestic where it is. Like all my nature-y things, the duck pond. Not too sure about the campsite because that seems weird to have in a park. <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm just like, this didn't turn out how you want it, Austin. Also, quite frankly, I, I didn't think I would miss it, but I miss part of my daily chores of going around and having my structured trees. So yeah, I want to move a lot of things. I really do. I want like a nice, warm, inviting area when you first arrive, like I had before. And then you reach here and there's like a straight up road or just really structured pathway going left and right. We can have the Able Sisters and the Nook's Cranny right here. And then we can start to have some villagers, or I'll probably put all the villagers on one side and then structure it so it's a road going back. And on the right hand side, we have things like this and probably the new flower area. And it would still be going back. And to the left of this would be all the Central Park. Love the apiary. Probably keeping this exactly where it is. Oh, but this, all of this needs to go. This is just tanking my frame rate. Cool idea, but you know what, it And then also at the same time, I started up my second Nintendo Switch on a brand new island in the Southern Hemisphere. Cause why not? And uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing from the beginning again. I really am. All right, we gotta get a lot of stuff out of my inventory. I also want to check my mail real quick just to see if my Happy Home Academy earned me enough points to be the, the gold trophy. The items hanging on your walls are just gorgeous. Enjoy the included gift. Is this, is this not an award? Nope. Not an award. How many points do you need for that gold trophy? <laughs> now, 
Now you want to offer this to me. Now you want to offer me the kitchen island. Is that the same color I have? I don't know, but golly, is that gorgeous. So I guess the very first step of me working toward formatting my big deserted area down here is, well, some trees gotta go. And knowing my luck, the first few trees I hit, I'm gonna find my wasps. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I could not have, could not have predicted that any better. That is my luck. The first tree that I hit, without shaking any for the entire day, is one that contains wasps. <laughs> oh, golly. And then we're gonna go around and we're gonna collect all the props. Wow, taking these down was so much easier than planting them. I think it's interesting knowing what my pattern was last week for turnips being a, a small spike. And this week it's 92. That means that I have a 45% chance at fluctuating, 25% chance at a large spike, 15% at a small spike, and 15% at decreasing. Might be a good week for me to buy turnips. It's kind of astounding, really, when you think about it, how long it took me to make this area to the right. And in less than an hour, I was able to tear all that down, all this down, all this down, <laughs> just, it's crazy. I can sort of work on the style that I want to go through here, which I, I'm gonna, there's gonna be a lot of trial and error right now, a lot, so I'm just gonna pause recording and come back when I got something. Okay, so while I've been messing around with ideas that have been not too successful over here, I've come up with a fantastic concept. Is that my entranceway should be defined by me. Not to, uh, by the way, I found another wasp, or he found me. Not defined by, you know, just a quick little tea cut off and then the resident services. Like, screw the resident services. I am, I am the person who defines my island. I am this island. I am, <laughs> I am Poseidon to the ocean that is this island. So instead, this entranceway, I'm going to be doing something similar to my courtyard upstairs. And we are going to decorate it with like some of the coolest things on my island between like rare flowers, some Nova stars, and maybe like have it split in four directions. One obviously going to resident services, one going to the right. We'll have these signs telling people where things are. And like all four of the corners can be like cool little micro environments, or as I'm going to refer to them on occasion, MEs. I think that's the play. That is the play. Let's do that. I finally have the opportunity that one of them is asking for me to type what nickname I want. And it's gonna be my dude. And finally, finally, I get to choose my nickname. So this is coming along pretty nicely. It actually is like a very even amount between the, the airport and down here and now I'm just kind of messing around with the center and how I want it laid out And I think it's gonna be pretty magical when we are done I've decided to put my fountain here in the middle because well, it's a beautiful centerpiece I might end up changing the color and then I just did a little a little sum sum and it ended up looking like a mustache And I put one piece of brick in the middle and I kind of like it I might end up making it dirt and a flower, but then I think like if you're trying to get around You're gonna go through here and there's a chance you can you know run through the flower and we definitely don't want that to happen And then also I'm thinking about ooh, there's a balloon I've decided that I'm gonna go back to my roots and shoot down balloons Because there's no there's no bunny eggs in them. It's okay. There's no bunny eggs Ooh, it's an essay set Great, thanks exactly what I wanted schoolwork and I decided I wanted to line this with trees, and first I was thinking about doing these light dirt path areas, and then I was like, wait, I have five fruit trees. And then I decided I would do the dark ones. So I'm gonna lay those in place, and that's gonna be like a nice outside border for this, and I think that's gonna be really dope, so I'll be back when I'm done with that. Oh, and I also put my signs here, and I might end up moving them a little bit, but I like it. Paul asked me if I want to hear a tongue twister. An annoyed void, an annoyed, an annoyed void owed alloys to Allie Doyling. 
An annoyed void owed alloys to Ally Doiling. Doiling? I don't even know that last word. But, uh, yeah. This looks really nice. This looks really, really nice. Like, I am so happy with the way this turned out. Also, it's gonna stop raining in two minutes, so I'm glad all my flowers are down. But, ugh, oh, this is gorgeous. And, like, like a perfect circle here. I made this tree one more out just so, you know, the pears weren't hiding, even though, God, golly, I hate pears. I also might end up switching the apples and the peaches just because I don't like how it's red and then red immediately. So that's, that's my only hesitation there. And then I just mirrored it on this side. Down here, I made the same 10 markers and I'm thinking maybe I could just put the bushes that are in season. Inside of here, I want to put some light sources. Either garden lanterns, probably Nova stars because, golly, I love Nova stars. Lucky is Naruto running around my new, my new entrance. Oh, now you're not gonna do it. Oh, you want to go look at the sign? Yeah, that lets people, that lets people know where you live. That's what's on there, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> that brings me so much joy. Quick little progress update. So, from the main area, like if you see Nook's Cranny, this way, I want to be Nook's Cranny. Wow, I... Pff. I really can't believe I just said that out loud, but okay. I thought it would be neat to have the nook's cranny over here, a micro environment in front and to the side of it, and maybe across the street from where these kids are is where, or you know, across the path is where their little playground is gonna be. So, you know, they could take some time off. And I saw a picture on Reddit, golly, forever ago, of someone who made their nook's cranny into like a little gas station and golly it is adorable and i love it so i think i'm gonna try to do that so just a quick little update on what's going on here i formatted the area and i have my seven by four grid i, I don't even know how big these boys are let's go take a look sees <laughs> isn't that so perfect when it lays out like that yeah yeah, love it. I mean, the only thing that could possibly even make it better is, you know, if you don't have that one little grass perimeter. You know what? I'm thinking I want to continue the brick wall behind the place. So I need to rethink this. I'll bring it down one more. I mean, over here I have this open sign that's going to go to the front area along there. So like that bottom left corner. I have this race car bed, I have a gas pump, I have another gas pump that I ordered, I have this plastic container used for gasoline, I have these little boys over here, so yeah, it's it's coming together really good. I'm thinking about a new style of video where, hey, I'm working on all this today, but you're not going to see this as the final video, you're going to see the final product. So instead, I'm going to really focus on one micro environment at a time. And when only when the microenvironment is done and the building is moved and the trees are grown in do you see the video. So I can like really, really focus on making one area perfect at a time instead of how I've been doing my videos, which is so mi mismatched with like, I did a little bit over here, a little bit over here instead. No, I mean, for now, I'm reformatting to like this. And what I'm thinking is, this is gonna be plenty of room. This is one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Yeah, there's gonna be plenty of room for everything. So, you know what? No, I'm not doing this. I'm not crowding things. That's, that's my rule. We're not crowding things. We're gonna move this entire cliff face back by one block. Oh God, now I have to do all these halves. <laughs> Perfect, Austin. Perfect, exactly what I wanted. I just came up with a quasi brilliant idea so i'm gonna have this fence coming up to like here and when the nook's cranny is in place you're not really going to be able to see anything back here but if i put something super tall like a utility pole then boom you're gonna see that actually you know what let's bring this back one and right here i'm gonna put a street lamp perfect yeah perfect 
So it's gonna look like that's actually a utility pole for this building. And I love it. I think tomorrow when that comes in, that's gonna be sitting so pretty in there. I decided to put a second story above here. Oh, oh, I think for the first time ever, I really like this this steel staircase. And then also like strangely how perfectly it lines up with that, that snack machine. Oh, well, obviously you can't see it right now. <laughs> I wanted to talk to Lloyd, not fence off Lloyd. So yeah, when this moves tomorrow, this is gonna be a beautiful little microenvironment. I'm sorry, I keep saying it, but I keep thinking it. Like, uh, golly. And I'm gonna be able to like, you know how back when I had that alleyway, I could put stuff next to the nook's cranny? These boxes are gonna be like that. So it's still like overstock on the side. Ah, oh, beautiful. And now we can make the little playground for the Nooklin boys over here. I have to say this was such a good idea because Timmy and Tommy are working over here all the time and this whole area is super industrial, but on their break, they get to come over here and relax and it's so much more spaced out and I decided for sand for the bottom and a much more natural outside with hedges and I decided to put down these palm trees and ah, oh, such a beautiful mood. I put down this hammock here between these two trees. Oh, so nice. And until I found like a better bench or something, I thought it'd be funny to just have this cardboard couch here. Or cardboard sofa because they have lots of cardboard boxes. So I figured, hey, you know, they repurposed some of the cardboard boxes as a sofa over here. And then I think I might want to bring the environment down here a little bit. Not too much. Not like a huge thing. Oh, you're in, you're investigating the hyacinths. Cool. And like, ah, uh, it could could build something real nice. So yeah, tomorrow, this rest stop area is gonna be fully done and it's gonna be beautiful and I'm gonna love it. And then up here, I thought this would be a really cool place to have the Able Sisters on like a second floor area. So it's still like super close to the entranceway. And then I could have a little sign right here saying Able Sisters and then pointing up. Or maybe up here. Not too sure yet. Now following the new idea and format, I'm going to take a break right now. And then tomorrow, when that's laid in place, we're going to be good. <sighs> good morning, gamers. I really like the whole... Because <laughs> like I literally just got out of bed. And I like that I'm recording as soon as I step out of bed. So today our nooks cranny should have moved. We could complete our micro environment and then we are all set with this video. Fantastic, stop looking at the money. We're doing a thing. Good morning, Butterpup. Right now it's 10.13 on plays. Now for today's announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big plays welcome to Anka. Anka, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard. And with that, I'll get back to work. Fantastic. I'm very excited that we get to go meet our new, our new Egyptian cat girl. Looks like we have some mail. If Lucky wants to be dark, he needs to spice up his colors. Thanks, Dylan. Why did your viewers not buy the merch yet? Buy at austinjobplays.com slash merch. Answer, they spent all their money on toilet paper. This nature thing is for Bo. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Thanks for the shameless plug. Mmm, rice. Thanks for the help of flowers. Your video was extremely helpful. No problem, Azor. I thought you might like a creepy anatomical model for Lucky. Oh, is this is this the the model with the organs? Thanks for the foosball table CQ. Make beats with your feet. Is this a guitar pedal board? I didn't want to be shellfish and keep this DIY to myself. I don't need it, do you? What is it? What is green fuzzy and if it falls from a tree, it could kill you. Open present. I need to open the present for the punchline. A billard table. <laughs> I definitely thought it was a coconut. But, yep, a biller table would kill you if it fell on your head. Good misleading pun line. Would Twiggy like a surprise box to go with her chair? Oh. Twiggy's who we kicked out for Anka. But oh, thank you. I present the dragon screen. Ooh. Something for the campsite and for the ladies. Not sure if I had this recipe yet. You ended up with a second one. Just sit back and enjoy island life. Thanks, love this bobo. Thanks for the paper lantern, Mayu. Here's Timmy's poster. Someone else gave you Tommy's poster. Thanks, Alex. Found this in a trade and I knew you'd love it. Thanks, Ray. Why don't oysters give to charity? Because they're shellfish. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thanks for the DIY, Ilu. Uh, I already have it, though. There's another duck boy. Thanks. Sub to Philly Beats You on YouTube. Thanks, Philly Beats You. <laughs> <laughs> so the gifted you one. Hope you would like the DIY. What is it, Tiff? 
The Shell Arch DIY, awesome. I actually think Zoe just gave me that. The Shell Fountain, that's, oh, apparently I know how to make that. <gasps> the tiny library, I wanna make one of these. I love them, they're adorable. Nice. Iron garden chair, I think. Oh, I don't know the iron garden chair. Oh, I have the table and I have the bench. Wild log bench, definitely know that already. Coconut juice? I know the coconut juice DIY, thank you. Uh, I was making coconut juice out to be a big deal, but like the amount of work it takes to convert all your coconuts into coconut juice and then sell that coconut juice, not really worth it. Plus, I still need the achievement for selling fruit. And firewood, definitely have that DIY. <laughs> People keep sending me pandas. Why do you keep sending me the pandas? <laughs> Uh, the gong is really dope. I think I have a foosball table already. I love these trees. Can't get enough good trees. I don't know if I have a billards table, but I I think I have a billards table and I tried putting it in the barcade, but then knowing how much room is required to stand all around the billards table, I decided to take it out because it took up too much room and I wanted jacuzzi instead. Uh, the dragon screen is really dope. I think between the dragon screen and the gong, we're gonna have a lot of stuff for Drago once we're ready to build his micro environment. And then someone sent me this adorable little tree, the, the nature's bounty tree, which I've never seen before. It looks very Christmassy, but it's not Christmas time anywhere. It's confusing. <laughs> I should be like Westworld and be like, this looks like nothing to me. <laughs> Oh, I love this entranceway. You get to see the entranceway as the plane lands. I stopped by someone on, uh, someone at the duck, de the duck decoy DIY. And I was like, listen, I've been procrastinating. I need this thing. So now I have this thing and I'm excited for this thing. I asked someone on my friends list to send me over some trash. Kind of ironic, but we need it for today. A retro sweater. Thanks, Dactyl. I thought your filming area was worth a better camera and it's red. Ooh. Oh, is this the uh, the tripod camcorder? <laughs> Check out new merch at crowdmade.com slash Zoe Two Dots. 100% face max profits going to charity. Thanks, Zoe. My friends love, love shamelessly plugging their merch on my videos now. Thanks for the cardboard box, V. <laughs> oh, from Turbo Pro Controller. <laughs> That's a throwback joke. The time we spend together is like a hot dog. I relish it. Thanks, Ash. You know Orion's belt? It's a waste of space. I know. I know it's not a great joke. I give it three stars. <laughs> uh, why did the dinosaur cross the road? Because the chicken wasn't around yet. Thanks, Jack. Oh, is that, yay, that's all my mail. I feel so accomplished treating my mail. Streamer problems. Guys, I... I'd have no place to put an Imperial dining table, but I have so many of them. I really do. I'm, I'm good on Imperial dining tables. The hot dog outfit is adorable. Uh, I have this camcorder now, which I'm trying to think of how I would set that up in my room, other than how I set it up like in my IRL room. And finally, Apple's box. That's the last box I needed. Awesome. So now that the Nook's cranny has moved to its final position, I'm just gonna terraform a little bit, put some things down, and we should be good. All right, so after a healthy amount of detailing and designing the area and bunch of stuff, I think it's finally good. First thing I need to let you know is I've officially changed the flag of plays, excuse me, Drago. Uh, I've made this for now as a placeholder. Obviously, there is a video game controller and the word plays. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up changing it a little bit, but for now that is the sign and I've put that onto both of the gas pumps here, which is pretty neat. I put a little gas pump in the middle, a throwback race car bed because it's awesome. Also, when you lay on it, it honks and the lights turn on. We have some trash over here and a blue recycling bin for recyclables. Behind the trash bin, I have some trash bags and an old tire stack that I customized to be old looking. We have some cardboard boxes over there that I customized to be formatted. We have this bubble gum machine, because like anytime I think of a convenience store at a gas station, there's always like a 25 cent machine for bubble gum or whatever else. I might end up getting rid of that or moving it. And then back here for our micro environment, we have a portable toilet 
It's just a porta john because every convenience store has a toilet in the back that no one wants to use because it's so gross. We have a drink machine, we have a snack machine. I have these iron girders here, which were pretty neat and I couldn't think of anything to do with them. And I wanted, I want to craft one of everything in the game. And I put some cardboard boxes down here, neon sign, and oh, I found this, this one style of park bench, and oh, it is so nice. Actually, with the silver and dark wood, I feel like it's clashing a little bit. Let's customize that. Like, it comes in a variety of really nice colors, but I think I'm gonna go with default. That is just a real classic garden bench. You know, with the, the oak planks and the black siding right in front of the we're open sign. I feel like it works. I might end up moving that a little bit, but all in all, I would say that the gas station here, that that is a gas station and that is complete. It really is. I think it looks beautiful. Everything is in a nice place. Yeah, I think it looks pretty awesome. Pretty dang awesome. See, I like this style of video. We're like, I start off with an idea and then at the end, including the next day, it's done and formatted and beautiful. Ugh, I dig it. I dig it a lot and ugh. This is so nice. So nice. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be wrapping up this video. I do want to thank you for checking it out. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John.